when I first started wood turning, I purchased a 12 inch tool wrist because I thought it would help me with what I was doing. Uh, unfortunately, it really didn't. I was too new at it to have much use for it. However, as I started getting into vases uh, and other longer items, I found it very helpful. Then I ended up upgrading my lathe and the long tool rest that I had would not fit in the new banjo. The last one was a three quarter inch. This one took a one inch tool rest post. Uh, so I've been working with four inches. Take all the jokes you want on that. But I had been looking for a while and couldn't find one that I liked. I did see a few, however, they were going to be a little too high. Uh, they were going to end up putting the tool too much above center. And so I'm still looking and looking and came across the Grizzly Pro tool rest. Uh, the awesome part for this is it was adjustable so I could change it out with a 4, a 6, a 9, or a 12 inch. And tightening it down with the Allen key, uh, it hasn't budged, at least in the basic tests. So I was really thrilled about that. Here I am giving it its initial test in the banjo on my lathe, and my mistake, I was actually working with six inches, and we'll let all the really bad jokes show up here because I am Naughty Pleasures, uh, and now I am working with 12 inches. Uh, enjoy the jokes, folks. But I just wanted to do a quick test and make sure that it was in the center. Uh, I didn't want it too high, I didn't want it too low, and it was really nice to see that it lines up uh, pretty dead center with uh, the test piece that I put in there uh, and I can raise it up and it'll be great for doing skew work. So I'm really looking forward to getting behind the lathe this weekend and testing it out further. I hope you enjoyed my quick little unboxing video. Uh, give me a like, give me a subscribe and come back again in, in a few days when I give these tool rests a bit of an abuse when I work on finishing out a couple of bowls I'm working on. Thanks for watching.